Hi, thanks for taking interest in our activist and advocates orientation. My name is Regina Nazir and I use she, her pronouns and I'm a community organizer for Loud Light. And my name is Logan Bird. I also use she, her pronouns and I'm also a community organizer here at Loud Light. If you're not familiar with our organization, Loudlight is a civic engagement or organization that works to engage people, such as young people in underrepresented, underrepresented populations across Kansas. Um, we do this in a variety of ways. This can include political education, creating information that's easy to digest for Kansans to know what's going on, um, coalition building, bringing people to build power, and direct engagement. And this includes voter registration and get out the vote work. And together, we're working to transform Kansas. So who is Loud Light? Um, a huge problem that we see here in Kansas is that many Kansans are marginalized and dangerously underrepresented in both voter turnout and elected office. So this uh, translates to less voter turnout means fewer needs met. We the people hire and fire our government leaders, but entire communities aren't showing up to the polls. When a community doesn't cast ballots, politicians have no reason to address the issues facing that community. Worse, as turnout plummets, Large donations from major corporations become increasingly powerful in building legislation that determines our future. So our solution is building community power. Let's overcome apathy, build community, and demand change. Turn out the vote and turn up democracy. Together we can realize representation and create a government that works for everyone. This is where you come in. Take action with us to help transform Kansas. So let's go ahead and talk about our programs. So starting with issue advocacy. Legislative advocacy is like providing testimony, meeting with legislators, and anything that is hands-on work. Local voting rights advocacy, which includes county level officials who run in elections, we can work with them to make voting more accessible um, to people across Kansas. And with research and data, this can include compiling and analyzing election data, doing issue research, and writing collaborative reports and other issue explainers. And then the next component is electoral organizing. The first part of that is voter education, where we educate folks on their right to vote and combat disinformation in politics. After that comes election protection. Loudlight is currently recruiting poll observers to help combat voter suppression live during election day by partnering with the ACLU of Kansas legal department to report and resolve violations as they happen. With that also comes notice and curing provisional ballots, things like helping people turn in identification or whatever issue to make sure that their provisional ballot counts. Um, the last component to electoral organizing is voter registration and turnout. And then after that, we'll go ahead and pass over to Regent to talk about our fellowships. So Loudlight has different areas for fellowships that are offered to um, young people across Kansas, um, specifically kids who are in um, universities at the moment. So in the springtime, we have our legislative engagement and advocacy, which helps people learn a little bit more about what's going on during our legislative session. And then we move on to summer, which is based more in community organizing, um, such as Logan and I, and political leadership development. And then later on in the fall, we do more electoral organizing, such as voter registration and get out the vote campaigns on college campuses. So after that comes our student power campaign. Um, the number one reason students reported that they didn't vote was because they couldn't access their polling place. We can fix this. The student power campaign is working to get a polling place on every college campus in Kansas. Higher education partners, such as fellow recruitment, student power campaign, getting a polling place on your campus and civic engagement activities. And after that comes our youth power coalition. The coalition is consists consists of youth advocacy organizations that get young people involved um, at the table where decisions are being made. Um, earlier this year, we hosted our very first YAS week, which is Youth Advocacy Summit. Um, and we had different areas where young people across the state could get involved with our legislative session. So another part of our organization is the New Frontiers Project. So this is led by young people of color in Southwest Kansas. New Frontiers Project's mission is to educate, engage, and empower by building community power from the ground up. We can create a Southwest Kansas that truly belongs to the people who live there. And a new part of Loud Light is Be Seen. Too often, the Asian American community is forgotten and overlooked in key conversations regarding policy. Because of this, we strive to empower the AAPI community to get involved, register, and vote. We're empowering the next generation of AAPI leaders to learn, educate their friends and family, and bridge the gap of voter engagement. 
Be seen is about being seen as individuals, families, and community members. So sign up below for any of these issue areas and a loud light organizer will be in contact with, with you about actions that you can take with us. Thank you guys so much for listening. Bye.